Hello and welcome back. I am Vineet with AWS. In my previous video, I walked you through how to set up the AWS Amplify resource for Face Liveness. In this video, I am going to walk you through how we can create the Amazon Recognition Face Liveness backend using the Amazon Recognition Face Liveness API. To use the Amazon Recognition Face Liveness API, we must create a backend that carries out the following steps. First, call create face liveness session to initiate a face liveness session. When the create face liveness session API operation is completed and return the session ID, after that the UI prompt the user to submit a video selfie. The AWS amplifies face liveness detector component then call start face, li face liveness session to perform liveness detection. Second, call get face liveness session results to return the detection result associated with the face liveness session. Let's first create the backend for create face liveness session. Create face liveness session API operation, create a face liveness session and return a unique session ID. So here is my Python code. I'm using the Boto3. Boto3 provides a Python API for AWS infrastructure services. We first get the recognition client and then we call the create face liveness session operation and in response it returns the session ID. As part of the input for this operation, it is also possible to specify an Amazon S3 bucket location. This allows the storage of a reference image and audit image generated during the face liveness session. The Amazon S3 bucket must be located in the caller's AWS account and should be in the same region as the face liveness endpoint. Additionally, the S3 object keys are generated by the face liveness. We can also pass another setting called audit image limit, which is a number between 0 and 4. Now let's check the request and response in the developer guide. So for this create face liveness session, I have this sample request in that we can pass the S3 bucket as well as S3 bucket prefix and audit image. And that audit image limit as I say can be between 0 and 4. And in response we get the session ID. Now let's create the backend for get face liveness session result. The get face liveness session result API operation retrieves the result of a specific face liveness session. It requires the session ID as input and return the corresponding face liveness confidence code. It also provides a reference image that also includes a face bounding box and audit image that also contains face bounding box. The face liveness confidence score can range from 0 to 100. So here is my Python code. Again, I'm using Boto3 that's provide a Python API for AWS infrastructure services. So we first get the recognition client and then we call the get face liveness session result and we pass the session ideas input. After that, we get the response and as part of the response, we also get the confidence score as well as status. Now let's check the request and response in the developer guide. So here we pass the session ID in the request and in the response we get the session ID, confidence score as well as reference image uh, and the bounding box. We also get the audit image if we pass the audit image limit as part of the first API call called create face liveness session. This audit image basically returns in best effort and based on the duration of the selfie video. In this video, I walk you through how we can create the Amazon Recognition Face Liveness backend and what is the request and response for the API operation. For more details, we can check the developer guide. In my next video, I will walk you through how we can configure and customize our React app and integrate, uh, and integrate with the backend API and as well as quick demo.